I think it's a just a mutual thing. It's, but I, you know what I mean? Like I was never conscious of it ever. You know, it was just the people I was attracted to. The know. gays have good taste. The gays have good taste. They really do. So in this movie, Jennifer, you have a line as Aunt Sandy that's sort of like gays are always obsessed with me. And it's kind of a meta line. I mean, for the both of you, really, like you have quite a fandom. Um, I've already seen it on shirts, like your, your, your quote from the movie. Do you have any idea like why you have such big queer fandom? Well, you know, it's, it's sort of, I don't know, you know, it, it's just started from a very young age. It was sort of like, you know, I don't think when you're young, you're very conscious of any like decision you make. It's just sort of like you go with what you're attracted to. I mean, I think that's really mo- what most of our youth is. And, um, you know, that's just what I was attracted to. All my friends, you know, ended up, you know, the, I mean, I don't think they had figured it out at the time, you know, when we were really, really young, but uh, they eventually figured it out. And um, yeah, and I, it was always like the gay, all the gay men and all the gay women in my, you know, in my town at my school or, you know, or at camp or, you know, and um, it's just sort of, I think it's a just a mutual thing. It's, but I, you know what I mean? Like I was never conscious of it ever. You know, it was just the people I was attracted to. The know. gays have good taste. The gays have good taste. They really do. Um, Kathy, one of the things that I really like about your character in this movie, Christmas Carol, is that um, she is a mom that is like trying to get to know her son's life better by doing like her own work sort of outside of him. <laughs> what did you like about you know, that aspect, I guess. Well, I loved it. I loved that it wasn't a struggle for her that, oh my, oh my God, what am I going to do? My son's gay. Did I do something wrong? Which I think is so hilarious because I think families are blessed to have gay kids. Um, So I love that she had regular mom issues, but they weren't specifically because her son was gay. In fact, it never even comes up in the film that, 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 that this couple is a gay couple. It's just, I want someone good for you. I want you to marry someone. I want you to stay in your hometown so we can see you. So I really, really love that. And yeah, I love the, um, you know, they let me add, you know, I'm I'm reading this book about LGBT, LMNOP, QRST. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, yeah, so the, 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 the challenge wasn't that my son was gay. The mm-hmm. challenge was that I wanted him to stay in my city and I wanted him to have a really handsome, great fun boyfriend. And that's why I responded positively to the, to the offer to play her. And then in the movie, uh, you know, you have what they call sort of like a built-in drag name, a holiday drag name, Christmas Carol. Uh, Jennifer, do you have a holiday drag name? Or Kathy, do you have one that you'd like to use in real life? <laughs> well, what, what would, Mara, what, what would my drag name be if you got to choose it? I don't know. I mean, there's like we I was going over some this morning with um, Michael and um, Joel. uh, Yeah. And we were talking about like candy cane or like (laughs) gay in a manger or, uh, you know, they were coming up with all sorts of different ones. So there's a lot of good options out there. (laughs) I can't maybe Maybe Mary, maybe shimmy and a Jimmy. I'm just throwing (laughs) it out there. Don't start the t-shirts yet. I don't know. Let's see what words go together like Coolidge Claws. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I don't know. Um, yeah, what was it? See, Coolio's already taken. She can't have that. What? I can't have what? Coolio. It's already been taken. So something. I don't um, know. I'll, I'll put the feelers out there and people can work on it for you guys. Yeah. I see. The thing is, I'm kind of. Um, uh, I've always been the Halloween lady that did the Halloween so big that, you know, do that by Christmas, I'm exhausted, but, but, but I do like having a Christmas identity now. And, um, and I, you bring up a good point. I, I, uh, I was hoping you were going to like come up with this amazing thing for me today of what I could be forever. <laughs> I'll put it out. I'll figure it out. You know, I should have thought about it in advance. No pressure, Mara. No pressure. <laughs> If Nick and I ever went there and it didn't work out, I would lose him. But what if it did work out? Oh, yeah. The gays just know how to do stuff. For some reason, they're always obsessed with me. You're 